it's Lon Seidman, and it's time for your weekly wrap-up, and we've got all sorts of interesting stuff to talk about this week. The first thing is something I found on Lilliputing, which, by the way, if you've never read their website, it is great, especially for fans of low-end devices and tablets and that sort of thing. Uh, they were talking about Windows 10, and apparently Microsoft is going to restrict you from executing desktop apps on small screen devices. So if you've got like anything lower than 8 inches, uh, you can't run desktop apps at all. You're going to be restricted to uh, the modern UI, which I think is kind of a mistake. And certainly it's hard to run those apps on small screens, but there are some good reasons for doing so. And I hope they might just make this an option that you can override as opposed to something mandatory. And I can see where Microsoft is coming from because they are you know, merging the OS that was kind of in different pieces because you had Windows Phone OS, you had Windows RT, and then you had uh, the standard Windows 8. There's only going to be one Windows now, and I think they're try, probably trying to figure out how to keep users on their phones from accidentally triggering a desktop application. But again, it would be kind of nice to have the choice. So hopefully they'll uh, make some changes there. Uh, we did also uh, get uh, word from Dell that they're going to be letting us take a look at their XPS 13. This is one of the uh, new machines running with the new Broadwell processor, Intel's latest chip. Uh, it gets better uh, battery performance uh, than the current Haswell chips do, so we'll be putting it through its paces. What's most exciting to me about it is the fact that you've got this 13-inch screen in a form factor that isn't much bigger than like an 11-inch notebook. So they've managed to kind of get rid of all the bezels and really make a very efficient use of uh, what surface area they have for the screen. So as you can see, that uh, bezel is very, very thin on it. So I'm looking forward to seeing this thing and putting it through its paces. Uh, and We'll see how well it performs. That screen is also uh, a high DPI display too, so you get better resolution than you would on an 11-inch MacBook. So we'll see how it does. I'm going to put it to the travel test when I uh, take a little trip later this week if it comes in on time. So we'll see uh, how it compares to that uh, MacBook Air. I also wanted to let you know, because a lot of you have been asking, I haven't forgotten about our budget PC build that I want to do. What I do want to start doing is collecting some ideas from you, because I think the first step in designing this computer we're going to build is trying to figure out what we want to run on it and at what speed. So I set up a little survey form you can go to at the link on the screen there. It's uh, lon.tv slash budget PC survey. Uh, it's a kind of a one question thing. Just go in and tell me what you think a low end PC should be capable of doing. And we're trying to keep the price around 500 bucks on this. Uh, so we really want to get the right mix of components for exactly what we're trying to do. So um, you know, maybe put a couple of games that you want to see uh, the machine be able to run and then maybe at what frame rate those games should run at. Uh, so give me some ideas there. After I collect those, we'll uh, come up with some guidelines and goals that we want to achieve, and then we'll start uh, piecing together the hardware. So probably we'll get to it sometime, uh, hopefully before the springtime, but I would like to you know, really approach this in a very meaningful way, and I want to involve all of you in it. So definitely fill out that survey, and we'll keep going from there. I'm also going to do a video with some gaming on the HP Stream Mini, because a lot of you had some questions about different games. So I'm going to give you a heads up right now. It is going to be uh, Counter-Strike uh, Global Offensive, or Go, whatever you guys call it. Uh, it's going to be um, uh, League of Legends, and I'm going to do some GameCube emulation and then Steam in-home streaming as well. So those are the kind of the things I'm going to focus on in that video. I can't run every game that everybody wants me to run. I get people all the time asking me to run some crazy game on here or whatever. I don't have them all, um, so I'm going to kind of give you the most popular ones that I can find that should give you a baseline idea of what this machine is capable of uh, running those games at. I'm also going to, I actually tried this and I, I'm hoping to get it working a little bit better. I did install Windows 10 on the Mego pad, that little uh, PC on a stick, but it's running really lousy right now. I'm trying to find some drivers and stuff. So I am still working on that uh, Mego 10 and I'll, uh, Mego, uh, whatever it is, the, the, the stick, and we'll uh, play around a little bit more with it and see what we can get uh, running on there. I did get into the BIOS and stuff. So once I get a little bit uh, more done and accomplished with it, I'll be doing a follow up video on the Mego as well. So lots of things to check out there. If you want to help the channel, you sure can. You can go to lon.tv slash Patreon, and that is a uh, monthly subscription service that allows you to help me offset the cost of a lot of the things that I buy to review on the show. So I do buy a lot of the stuff that you see here, and it does cost me money because when I buy it and review it, I can't just return it. I have to sell it, uh, so I lose a little bit on that transaction. So every little bit helps there. I also have an ability to do a one-time contribution at lon.tv, which is right through my YouTube page via fan funding, which you can do as well. And anything you want to do is uh, greatly appreciated, but not necessary. I love doing this. I'm having a great time. I uh, don't need money for, uh, to keep everything up and running, but every little bit helps because the more I have in that budget, the more I can buy and review. Please also keep giving me some suggestions on things that I should be looking at purchasing as well. 
uh, because I always want to make sure I have uh, a good amount of stuff to uh, keep me busy down here in my basement studio. So that will do it for this week. Uh, note that I may not have a weekly wrap-up next week. I'm doing a little bit of traveling. If I am able to do a wrap-up, it's going to be from a really cool place. Uh, so I will uh, let you know if I want to get confirmation of whether or not I'll be able to go there or not. Um, so stay tuned for that. And that will do it for this week's weekly wrap-up. Please keep your questions and comments coming. And thank you all for watching. Yeah.